welcome back to my channel if you are new hello thank you for joining me today and if you are already part of the fam hello how are you thank you for your continued support i wanted to come to you guys with more of a personal video sharing my experience with laser hair removal so if you have not watched my previous my last two videos then I would suggest that you guys go ahead take a look at those there are two vlogs so vlog 11 and vlog 12 and they both are going to give you kind of a background to my laser hair removal the vlog kind of seeing where I actually go and all of that good stuff so if you just want to focus on the laser hair removal then definitely check out vlog 12 which is the video that is before this one First off, I just want to make a statement right here, right now. I am not trying to persuade anybody to get laser hair removal. I'm also not going to hold back my experience just because I think that everybody should get it, you know? I just want to give my true, honest, transparent experience because I feel as if that is the best way to be. And if you've watched vlog 12, then you already know the experience, okay? You already know how I was feeling in the moment of my laser hair removal treatment. First, I want to go ahead and provide you guys with a definition of laser hair removal treatment. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the website of the company that I actually go to. And so I go to Rejuve Medical <laughs> Aesthetic Clinic and I love the people there. It is absolutely amazing. It's always a fun time when I go there. So let's see here. So let me just go to, okay. So on their website, under the laser treatment section, it says laser hair removal. It says permanently remove unwanted hair and free yourself from the constant and endless cycle of shaving, waxing, or plucking with our laser hair removal treatment. Then it says, what is laser hair removal and how does it work? Laser hair removal uses non-invasive light technology to safely eliminate unwanted body hair. Using personalized parameters such as skin tone, hair color, and density, the best laser modality to use will be determined to provide a safe yet effective method of hair removal. The goal of laser hair removal is to not eradicate every single strand of unwanted hair. But to achieve permanent reduction of the quantity of unwanted hair. So right there is stating that the purpose of laser hair removal is not to remove all of your hair, but to simply reduce the amount of hair. Then it goes on to read, the secret lies in the technology that destroys the targeted hair cells without harming the surrounding skin. The light emitted is absorbed by the pigment located in the hair follicles. The laser pulses for a fraction of a second, allowing the hair to absorb the light and heat up. As it heats up, the hair shaft and the bulb round damaged, making it so that they cannot regrow. The technology Reju Rejuve uses for laser hair removal allow the treatments of all different areas, skin types, hair color, and skin tones. So then it goes on to say who is a good candidate for laser hair removal. And it says the best candidates for laser hair removal have dark, coarse hair and fair skin. Darker skin types require different lasers to avoid causing discoloration of the skin. Those with fine hair can be more difficult to treat with lasers. And very light or white hair usually doesn't respond very well. So laser hair removal is for those who have a more coarse textured hair that's more dark. If you don't have coarse hair, then it's going to be difficult to pick up on the actual follicle. But on the reverse side, which could be seen as a con, is because the light focuses on pigment, if you are of darker skin tone, it could be hard for the technology to differentiate between the hair follicle and your skin. So now I'm going to go ahead and share my experience. I have been looking into laser hair removal for some time and I've seen, you know, people discuss laser hair removal, but a lot of the people who I've seen, they, they usually get it on their legs or their armpits. So me, I have a problem with hair growing right here on my chin area and right under the, the nape of my neck. 
Now, the reason this is, is simply because I shaved this and I started doing this at a young age, not because I had hair, but if you are an African American, honey, your mother, if she's in her like 50s or 60s, your mother more than likely shaves right here, period. It's a lot of women who do. Um, who are older in age and so I was like oh my goodness you know and so I did that and I just continued to do it because it didn't subside when I made the decision to do the laser hair removal I called I made an appointment and went and saw the laser hair removal tech person there now when she first saw me she asked if I have ever been diagnosed with it's like a hormone imbalance that creates hair in areas on women that women usually don't grow hair. So if it's a mustache, your chin, your neck, kind of like a beard situation. And I was like, no, I've never been diagnosed with anything like that, you know? And she was like, yeah, that could be something. And for me, it's not that I was born with hair, you know? It's simply because I shave. And when you shave your hair, it grows back more coarse. But she also mentioned that if a woman does have this hormone type of um imbalance that you know if they shave it'll grow back thicker and that women who don't have it even if they shave it won't grow back thicker so I don't know what but anyway let's go ahead and move forward so after she kind of you know gave me my consultation on the laser hair removal she told me the price so it's not cheap at all to get laser hair removal. So if this is something that you want to do, then you definitely are gonna have to decide your coins for because it is not cheap. The price breakdown is for total, for my chin and my neck area, it is around $160 each session. I am right now slated for eight sessions just to kind of get everything gone away. So far, I've had three sessions. I have five sessions to go. Honestly, I don't know if I'm going to complete all of the five sessions because of how I'm progressing and I may not need five sessions, five more sessions, so we'll see. But that's kind of the price breakdown. So if you are looking to, you know, get this treatment, then honey, you're gonna have to have your coins ready. That's kind of the price breakdown. Now let's get into the whole process of the laser hair removal treatment session. Before I come into my session, I have to have everything shaved. She suggested that I shave with a razor, but my experience with shaving with the razor, I don't like the results because I believe my hair grow back quicker and thicker. So I use one of those, it's like a, an electric shaver that is really, really nice. I like it, my skin, my hair doesn't grow back as fast and I feel as if it's just better on my skin and the texture of my hair overall. No product on my face. If she believes I have too much oil or anything on my face, she will wipe that down for me. Once my skin is prepped and I'm good to go and she's like, all right, let's get started, she applies a gel-like substance to my face. If you watch the vlog, then you will see the entire process. So please make sure you click the eye card up here somewhere so that you can check that out. She puts a gel on my face. The gel really doesn't help when it comes to the feel, but it is supposed to help the actual laser gun glide better and it also is going to promote cooling to the skin. So the laser gun that she uses, I'm not sure of the actual model or type, but it has a cooling tip. Now, if you watch the vlog, once again, she goes into detail about what she uses now and also what they are actually being trained on, which is a different laser gun to use that could be used on darker skin tones. So definitely check this vlog out, okay? Check it out. Yeah. So after she applies the cooling gel, now it's time for the laser, okay? So after the gel is applied, she already knows which areas that I want to focus on just based off of when I initially walked in, you know? So she's gonna ask, hey, where are you seeing your hair grow back more coarse or where are you seeing more hair grow? And she will focus on those areas during that session. That doesn't mean she's not gonna hit everything because she is gonna hit everything, okay? She's going to hit everything, but she's definitely gonna go back over those areas that I want to see more improvements in. That's the process, now the experience. I don't know how to explain it. The, on a scale of zero to 10, I have a high pain tolerance, okay? But on a scale of zero to 10, 
I would say that my first treatment was definitely like a good seven or eight. I would say a seven or eight because it's something that I'm not used to and it's the first session. I will tell anybody that your first session is going to be the worst session because that is when your hair or your skin, you're not used to that. You're not used to being sapped, okay? And the feeling is a zap feeling. You can feel the follicle getting zapped on your skin. Back up, before I even got any of this done, I did research. I've seen horrific reviews, I've seen horrific pictures, I've seen things that could or could not happen. One thing that did happen to me during my laser hair removal treatment that I did see during my research is I did have a burn on my skin. It was very, very small and it was during my first treatment. Now, during your first treatment, it is going to take your person some time to understand the level of laser that you need. For me, her first zap may have been a little bit too strong, which is why I got a little burn in that spot. It was so small, it was like the size of a pea, but still at the same time, it's not something that anybody wants to go through. But, I mean, what can you say? You know, it's kind of like a trial and error. That spot now is gone, and I really don't have any issues with being burnt that little spot right there I mean whatever so now she knows overall the reason why she wanted eight sessions is to ensure that I was not burnt so using the lowest light technology that she could to just span across a longer period of time because I am darker skin now if I was more fair tone then obviously my sessions would be less but she just wants to make sure that I am safe and she is treating me very well. So being burnt on the first experience, I'm not really like putting it against them. Obviously I've been back twice after and I haven't gotten burnt in any of those sessions. So yeah, the first session was definitely a little bit more, you yeah, know, an experience. And the second was better. I can tell improvements by the second treatment because after some time, your hair will decrease over time and the treatment won't be as aggressive. Now my third experience, because I kind of skipped my four week period, so I go every four weeks, but because I skipped on my third, I went a little longer. The pain was a little bit more aggressive, but I still wouldn't say it was bad. If you watch my video, you will see me cussing, you will see me being like, ah, because first I'm dramatic two that helps me get over the pain and three because it is a little bit uncomfortable it's not going to be comfortable it is going to be uncomfortable you are going to want to cuss you are going to want to punch somebody but it also depends on your you know pain level I am dramatic so for me I have to be kind of over the top in order to kind of take my mind off of it and they love it they laugh it's absolutely hilarious like for example i'm a person where if i drop my phone i'm like ah like you know because it's like it lessens the effect you know it's a hair removal experience i must say that i love my results the results outweigh the process definitely and yes it's a little bit expensive but at the end of the day I find so much comfort and I've also had a confidence boost in myself just by knowing that, okay, wow, I don't have hair right here. People aren't looking, you know what I'm saying? Just comfort in that. Like I could stop today and be comfortable and not have to go back and be able to have some hair growth and shave whatever those little bit remaining are and just keep it going. So that's overall my experience. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to come to you guys to give you guys my experience and kind of to explain that video a little bit more. My laser hair remover tech, she was like, nobody's gonna wanna get this after they see this video. And I'm like, please, you know? People get things done to themselves all the times when they know backstories, when they know what could happen, the outcomes. People are gonna do it if they want it, period, point, Blank. I would say if you are interested, definitely at least do one session and see how you like it. The session does not last long, guys. I mean, she may be, my session is maybe a minute long. Like, maybe a minute or two. Like, it's not long at all. So if you can withstand that for a minute and a half to two minutes, maybe two and a half if she's feeling a little bit, you know, overly gracious that day, then definitely go for it. So follow up procedures to the laser hair removal treatment is you are given a cream 
that you have to purchase, obviously, but it is more so like. It is more so like a hydrocodone cream that you put on for two days after your treatment, but keeps your skin all nice and plump. I want to pause. <laughs> I want to pause. Keeps your skin nice and plump and moisturized so that you won't have a lot of irritation and bumps and things like that. You guys, my TV is just acting up, boo. You're acting up. I'm gonna have to put you on an app just so you won't act up process after at the rejuve clinic as well i've also started a, a new regimen of skincare and i'm so excited about that also helps me and aids me with my laser hair removal it's going to help with those high pigmented areas discoloration and it's going to help my laser hair removal go a little bit smoother i'll definitely keep you guys updated it works it's doing great it's doing good it's not going to be a walk in the park or a piece of cake you know it's gonna hurt a little bit but girl you can do it <laughs> yeah. also don't forget to hit that subscribe button to become a part of the mdp family if you like and if you don't want to be a part of the family that's fine boo boo you can keep on coming back here and watching me hopefully one day you will join us thank you guys Smooches, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.